Oh, fish, big fish. Oh my goodness. Yeah. Big fish, big fish. Now that's a sweet October muskie. Fish, 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 fish. That's a big Atlantic, boys. Oh, man. We have made it. Let me tell you what, we have a laundry list of gear that does not hold up under these extreme, extreme conditions. Hard packed snow, 40 mile snowmobile ride up here on the one and only Lake Nipigon. But at the top of our list of gear that does hold up is our Eskimo hoses. That is remarkable. I mean, it's, you can't have gear fail in, in times like these. I mean, it's incredibly windy extremely demanding conditions especially with the hard packed snow bare ice and pockets two foot snow drifts and others like it's this is these are challenging challenging conditions but let me tell you what we are here on lake nipigan winter time going after lake trout it is nasty out here right now but i mean where else can you position yourself to catch truly huge lake trout through the ice in the winter time within a five hour drive of Duluth? Like, this is it, like, this is it. I am incredibly, incredibly excited on what the day has in store for us. We kind of have our work cut out right now with the wind. I mean, 20, 30 miles an hour, cold temps. This morning may be challenging. Lake trout through the ice are not easy. I mean, it's one of the more difficult fish to catch through the ice, if not the most difficult. Number one, lake trout are very, very timid. They're, they need the right conditions to eat in the winter time. To film a lake trout show through the ice is by far the hardest thing that you can do. Even if you get one to bite, getting them up through the hole is even more difficult. So we have our work cut out for us. You know, I mean, in, in Lake Nipigon, it's known for big trout. Fish under 10 pounds are rare. If we can see even just two, maybe three fish today, I mean, that's gonna be total success. We're not gonna come out here. We're not gonna pound them. That does not happen, but we're hoping we can see a couple fish. It could be a very long day. We're gonna have to have patience. We're gonna have to move around a lot, drill a lot of holes. Um, and another disadvantage is this lake has no contours on it. So, I mean, we're, we're purely going off speculation. We have really no idea. We've never ice fished out here before in our life. So let's get some rods out. Let's get some holes drilled. Let's start the process of trying to find the right depth. And, you know, maybe we're going to get lucky and, and see a fish or two today. I don't know. Let's see what happens. stayed that all looks good so gear yes gear matters like being technical about your gear matters in you know catching walleyes panfish whatnot but it is even more imperative during the winter time chasing lake trout so rods we got a couple st croix the apex predators right here these are a 42 inch rod. It's perfect for bigger fish. So you always want to match kind of the rod you're using to what you anticipate catching throughout the day. These rods are going to handle the biggest of the big. So great rods. We're going to talk about lures here shortly. That's a whole nother conversation on this lake right here because there are a lot of special regulations on Nipigon. But another rod that I'm going to use, I'm probably going to start off using this one is 
This is the trophy taker. It's a 36 inch medium heavy. It's kind of designed to be a big lake or a big walleye rod, but it's going to be good for lake trout as well. I have confidence setting the hook into a 20 pound trout with this rod. It can handle it. So, um, in terms of, of line, I'm just running kind of a straight 12 pound test mono. On these trophy taker rods, we have braid, no stretch. However, I envision us fishing in that 30 to 70 foot depth today. If we were any deeper than that, it'd be this would have braid on it. However, I like I kind of have confidence with mono, especially under these conditions when it's so windy like this. Um, braid's going to freeze up pretty fast outside. So, I mean, that's kind of in terms of the rods, but you want a rod with a lot, a lot of backbone. You really have to set the hook on these trout. I mean, I mean, if you're, just, if you're doing a little wrist flick, you are not gonna catch these fish. You may hook them for th 10, 20, 30 seconds, but I guarantee you, they're probably gonna get off. You really gotta give it to them and drive these hooks home. I mean, trout have big, big, big hard mouths, so you really gotta set the hook on these fish. Lures, barbless, one hook. Yeah, our odds are stacked against us here today. I mean, even you, you talk about people ice fishing out here on Lake Nipigon, like one fish in three days is good. Yeah, you heard that right. Like it's rare to catch trout out here through the ice, but I've never done it. We wanna try it. It's March. I'm hoping for some luck. We need some luck on our side. Let's get these baits in the water. Fish! Hooked up. Hooked up. Oh, tangled in the... Easy. Kid, we got your drag right. Feed him drag, feed him drag, feed him drag, feed him drag. Kid, kid. No way. Kid. No way. That's huge. Kid. That's Oh my gosh. What do you have? Oh. I don't know yet. Oh. It came straight off the bottom. Pulled it up about 10 feet, smacked it. What do you have? I can't believe this. No way did you just hook up in the first five minutes. This is a big fish, buddy. This is a big fish. Oh yeah, my wrist is feeling it. This is outright insane. The first five minutes of fishing. People fish out here for days without catching a fish. We have by no means caught this one yet. There's your leader. Oh, it's right there, it's big. It's big. Let it run, let it run. This is big, I can't believe this is happening. Five minutes. And what these trout do is they swim around the bottom of the hole waiting to get their head started and they pound that jig and their head on the bottom of the ice. And it's, it's not easy, it's not easy. Eight inch holes too. Eh, I don't like this. If we had a big hole right now, this fish would be up. That's the challenge. But you come out here, you're drilling hundreds of holes a day. Easy, Caden. Easy, Caden. Hundreds of holes a day. You just can't do that with a bit bigger than eight inches. If we need to, we're going to drill another hole to connect it. I, I don't know how big this fish is though. It's, we just gotta get his head started and this fish has too much energy. That's your hardest part. That's the hardest part. Oh, I hate that scraping on the I ice. know, I know, it's terrible, it's terrible. I'm, it's right there, it's go, 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 oh, we almost had it, we almost had it. There comes a point where you gotta put, right there, right there, right there, oh, it's almost up. It's almost up, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, it doesn't fit. Oh, we got it, look at that lake trout. <laughs> Kaden, give me some. No! I could run around this lake in excitement right now. Look at that lake trout. That is huge. Buddy, what did you just catch? What did you just catch? That's a big lake trout. Oh, oh, take your fish. Look at this. One little hook. I don't know if I can hold it. Bare, look at this, barely hooked. Watch this. Right out. Barbless hooks, white spoon. Look at that fish. Kaden, hold there. We're got to get her back quick because it's that's a heavy fish. It's cold. That's a 15, 20 pound fish. Unbelievable. Get in. Yes. Let's get her back. Back she goes. I cannot 
believe that just happened. You don't realize what you just did. You caught a lake trout on Lake Nipigon in the first five minutes. Like, that does not happen. I am absolutely jacked right now. That is beyond my wildest dreams. In our first spot of the day, we catch a trout. When we care about something, it shows. To help protect these things, call on the knowledge and experience of a local independent insurance agent that you know and trust. Some things we just can't afford to lose. And that is why we exist. Because the worst brings out our best. Holden Insurance, Duluth and Superior. Hey everybody, it's time to go ice fishing and no place better to shop than Marine General. Ice tents, augers, fish finders and underwater cameras, rods and combos, boots, gloves, jackets and bibs. And the best prices anywhere. Marine General, London Road in Duluth. Come on in to Marine General and get outdoors with us. Now through March 29th, take advantage of rebates up to $3,000 on select Lund boats from RJ Sport & Cycle located in Duluth. We sell everything from fiberglass ties and Pro-Vs, perfect for the big water and space for the family, to tillers, side councils, pontoons, and much more. Our friendly and knowledgeable sales staff is here to answer all your questions and to help get you into your next Lund boat. Visit us in-store or online at rjsportandcycle.com today. Fish chasing, fish chasing. Got him, got him, fish! Fish, 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 fish. Oh my goodness, oh my goodness. Oh, I'm shaking, I'm sh shaking right now. What a rush, you just gotta sit in there jigging. There's nothing on the screen. Two seconds later, you see like a missile coming for your lure and all you can do is hold on. That's exactly what this what happened here. So Eric's gonna visually look down and try to see it because we got to get its head started by pulling on the line a little bit, or he'll tell me to pull harder and I will. But I think I'm still a little bit early in the fight. This is an absolute dream. Big head shake. Yep. Oh, no. You grab my line, man. If you see if, you, if the opportunity looks right. If you see its head there, this is a big fish. Eric, I don't like this. Yes, baby. Yes! <laughs> yes, buddy. buddy. Ah, yeah. Oh my gosh, I am dying. This is way too much fun. You look at that, that fish was not coming off. That fish was not coming off. Guys, it's super cold out here. Let's get that hook out. We're gonna get this back right now and do some more talking just because we don't want that fish to freeze. Back it goes. Ow! Ah, ow! Yeah. Oh. I don't know what else to say right now. I don't know what else to say. Come on, no way. No way. No way. No way, kid. Come on, buddy, what happened? Tell me. I just looked down at my graph and there was a mark. <laughs> that's, that's what it, that's There's the it. simple explanation. Yeah. I was messing around with my rod tip because there's some ice on it, trying to get it off. I looked at the graph and there's a big mark, so I lift it up about two inches. Oh my. Easy, just let him go, let him go, let him go. He's way too energetic to be close to the hole right now. You gotta let him burn some energy. We're never gonna get the, you're never gonna get these fish up in the first minute. 
we almost went walleye fishing this morning just because I saw the forecast and I'm like, it this doesn't look good, guys. It just doesn't look good and I'm sure glad we're here. Okay, in your last fish, when I grabbed this head, yep. the belly was squeezing through the hole. Any bigger that fish went to fit. He's right there. You gotta get him down, uh, get him down. Feed him line. Give him some line. Let him get a little bit lower. He's way too energetic right now. I see him, he's right there. It's a big fish. Holy cow. Oh, it's a big fish. He's not done yet. You don't come to Nipigon for small ones. Magic. Oh, I just lost all my gang that I've had. Yep. This is magic. When the fish are horizontal, they're not going to come up. They have too much energy. Once they tire out, they get vertical. That's when you got to start their head. And it was. It is right now. It is right now. Oh, we're coming. We're coming. We're coming. We're coming. Oh my gosh, kid. I can't get it. Get it. Look what you just did. Look what you just did. Oh Give my. Oh. oh my goodness. Kaden, look at that white dew jigger spoon in the corner of its mouth, Kaden. That is an absolute hog. Take your fish, buddy. Oh, let's get the hooks out yeah. of it. Solid 15, I don't know, 12, 13, 14, 15 pounder. Oh. Maybe heavier. We can see that she's already starting to ice up. Kaden's just going to get his mitts on her, and we're going to get her back. Buddy, a strong fish. what a dream. What a dream. All right, so the last fish I caught bit my tail off. So that's garbage now. But here, we have a whole box of these. These are, like it's a storm bait. I believe it's like the wildlife minnow shad. Um, and so what we have to do is pinch these barbs down. So I'm gonna take this and I'm just pinching these barbs, just pinch. It's nice to have big pliers like this to do that, but take your finger and I don't feel any resistance sliding it up there. So that's how you pinch the barbs down. Again, one hook. If we were using this tube, see how this tube has that stinger on it? That's illegal, you could not use this. What you could do is you could either clip off the stinger hook or clip off the main hook. I'd be more apt to clip off the main hook so you have a treble on there, um, but you can do either one. But two hooks like this, you can't use out here. So really, as, as fishermen, the odds are, are pretty stacked against us. But today, when the fish are this riled up and this active, you know, it, heck, if you drop a fish or two, it's not long until you're gonna get bit again. But that's a complete barbless lure, ready to go down in the hole. And I mean, this is, I, I don't even know what to say. Like, if you're watching this right now, like, this does not happen, so. I mean, this is a ice fishing trip of probably five years up here to have a, a morning like this, let alone, let alone a week, a morning, putting this big trout on the ice. But it's all about timing. We just got lucky. There's really no skill. I mean, yes, there's skill involved in, in catching and hooking the trout, but a lot of luck being here on the right day when they're feeding and a lot of luck getting them up through the hole. That's really all it all it comes down to is we're pretty we're pretty lucky here today. Very very fortunate, but we fish a lot to experience a day like this. Still on our first spot of the morning. I mean that's just pays to do your homework too. Like we did our homework and we just didn't come out here completely blind. We identified an area that looked good to us. We drilled a couple holes, found the right depth. And luckily we just set up on a on a bunch of bunch of lake trout, but trust me, I could do that three thousand more times and it wouldn't work like this. So we're we're, <laughs> we're having fun. This week's health tip is brought to you by St. Luke's, the patient above all else. Hi, I'm Dr. Nick Johnson with St. Luke's Urology Associates here tonight to talk about today's health tip, which is prostate cancer. Prostate cancer is still common and it is still one of the leading killers in the United States. Fortunately, it is preventable or at least findable. The most important thing that you guys can do is be in touch with your primary care physician about prostate cancer screening. It's pretty easy. It's a blood test 
and it's a finger in the old you know where, but it's worth it because it helps us find cancer early, often in, in its most treatable state. If you have any questions about prostate cancer screening, please don't be shy. Talk to your primary care physician about it because they may not offer it unless you ask. If your PSA, that's the blood test, is elevated, they might ask that you go see a urologist, that's me. If your prostate exam is a little bit irregular, they may ask that you go see your urologist, again, that's me, and we can help you figure out Number one, if you have prostate cancer, and number two, if you have to do anything about it. That's my health tip. I didn't even see it on the graph actually. This one just smacked it when I was jigging. I didn't even see it, on it. it came so fast. The madness continues. We're gonna turn your middle name into lake trout. <laughs> and it's typical to see a lake trout turned on for like one or two hours throughout the day, but like now it's been like two or three hours. It's even more rare. I don't see it yet, buddy. I don't even see your leader. I haven't found it yet either. There it is. We just had to say the word. There's already ice on top of this hole. I can't see. You have so much like lake trout slime in your hole from your other fish. Listen he, to that. He was not happy. Listen to that drag. Oh, I saw it. I can't tell how big it is. Oh, I can tell that it's way. There it is. I'll tell you that. Oh, there it is. Here it comes. Oh, oh my gosh, Kaden. Oh my gosh. Kaden, look what you just caught. Look what you just <laughs> caught, Kaden. That's, that's huge. That's the biggest oh, one of the day. That's the biggest one of your life, <laughs> let alone the day. You're stealing the show here, and I love it. <laughs> and I am so happy for you because to be able to experience this is beyond your imagination. Guys, look at that lake trout. Kaden, yes, yes. Oh, I hurt my hand. <laughs> oh, baby. Crazy. Let's get it back. Kind of the way I have my digital Markham set up, and you can do this with the LX6, LX7, LX9, and the RT series, though, is I have my round flasher dial in the middle, and then I have a 20-foot zoom window on my right hand side brought all the way down to bottom and really what that does is allows you to see lake trout that have come off bottom all these fish today are coming right off of bottom i mean a lot of times your trout are going to come in suspended but today especially for some reason they're coming right off bottom and it's nice to be able to see that zoom window in that separation because it essentially magnifies the top the bottom 20 feet of the water column and it gives you a clear view on that and you cannot mistake a lake trout poking its head up off bottom. And that 20 foot zoom window allows me to play that fish, make him chase me for 20 feet before I set the hook. And the lake trout are all about chase. You have to make them chase. If you, if you see one coming and you just sit there and don't do much, I'd say, you know, six, seven, eight times out of 10, they're not gonna hit you. If you start reeling away from them, and bringing them up, they're gonna swim even faster and nail you. So usually what I'm doing is, you know, I'm jigging at the bottom of that 20 foot zoom window on my Markham graph. And by the time that lake trout hits me, I'm about 15 feet up and I can watch him perfectly through the window, chase my bait and hit me. Fish coming up, coming up. I'm gonna drill him right here, right here. Fish! Big, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, ow, uh, this fish shot off bottom. I saw him come up and I said, I knew he was gonna pound it just by the way he was swimming. He was all in 55 feet of water. He hit at about 35 feet. And as soon as I set the hook, he put on the brakes. 
Uh, Eric, Eric, huge, big, Eric, 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 easy, Eric, 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 I got him, I got him, you got him, yep. oh, I got him, I got him, oh, I got him, oh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh, oh. oh. what a dream, what a dream, uh, my hand hurts, I can't even talk or think right now, Eric, buddy what a fish uh, let's get it back his eyes are freezing unbelievable you're a good girl there she goes it's super important to get these fish back as soon as possible she was out of the water for a mere i don't know 10 seconds max like you got to get these fish back quick when it's like this warm weather you can buy yourself a little more time but when it's this cold you got to get them back fast. I got to quit fishing for 20 minutes because my hands want to fall off. We are super happy, super satisfied. We will be back. There's bigger fish down there yet to be caught. Thank you guys for watching. We'll see you next time.